As more people turn to ebooks and digital sources for research, the community library may have seemed to lost its spark, but my next guest says not so. The library is full of untapped resources you really should take advantage of. Retired Provo City Library Director Jean Nelson joining me to share a few lesser known library programs. I almost had a hard time even saying that. The yeah. library's lost its spark? No way. No, 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 that's no not true. No way. A lot of us though maybe don't realize everything the library yeah. holds. There, there's so many things that happen at the local public libraries. Yeah. And uh, it's just, we're still amazed after, I've spent 44 years in the business, still amazed by the number of people, oh, I didn't know you did that. Yeah, there's so many things, despite all the great marketing and everything, there's a ton of things. There's I'd love to talk about it. There's a lot to learn about the library. Let's start off with something for students. Tell me about the research and homework databases. You know, there's, uh, a lot of parents are looking for that, those supplements and things to help their, their children with, right. with papers and things like that. And the databases, they're all over the place, including uh, encyclopedic type of databases. People don't buy encyclopedias anymore, but you can find them online for free. So you can do it remotely too. You can do it remotely. Matter of fact, we have people at Provo that are great users, they never step a foot in the building. They're tapping in with their library card exactly. into the system. And most libraries in the state of Utah have an excellent uh, set of databases that okay. are great for homework okay. and even adult research through the Utah State Library. It's called huh. the Pioneer Databases. Okay. And the Pioneer Library and virtually every library in the state of Utah has free access to that. Fantastic. Good and so that's a great place for uh, parents and students to go. Absolutely. Once the homework is done, we might want to kick back a little bit. Yeah. And you want people to know about the movie and music streaming service. Oh, you know, um, I'm a big movie guy. Yeah. And uh, one of the things that we do as we go to movies and stuff is trying to find, frankly, as a retiree, the cheaper places to go. Sure. And uh, now that we have uh, things like Canopy, we have all kinds of music databases and services available that are usually tapped in by the individual uh, at their own local library. Oh, okay. And yet we have, uh, in Utah County, we have a lot of small city libraries. And up here in Salt Lake County, we have Salt Lake County and Salt Lake City and Murray, really all of the libraries in the, in the county. And you can find those type of uh, services at your local library too. Again, just going online, finding it on their website, and you don't have to walk in at all. I was aware of some of these resources. I wasn't aware of the remote option, so yeah. that's fantastic to It is know very, too. very cool. We are big fans of the kids' programs at yes. my house. Oh, every library is doing a lot of great kids' stuff. Yeah. I think it's hugely important for children. Summer times, we're helping kids keep up with their reading and their right. reading skills. And there's everything from... Oh my goodness, just the, the basic story times that you do with the younger ones, the uh -huh. toddlers, the infants, to after school programs. We have Minecraft is huge. <laughs> we can't do enough Minecraft programs for the older teens, Dungeons and Dragons and other type of gaming. Yeah. But um, almost anything you can think of. And at Provo, Every year we do a lot of big, big events, uh -huh. including our fairy tea party okay. that we have a thousand people come to yeah. um, in, with different sessions. We have uh, a tween academy for that, that those ages between the children and teens, and sometimes that group gets lost. It's a forgotten group sometimes. It really is. Yeah. And we really try, I think most libraries really try to make sure there's something for every child. I saw ACT prep as well. Yeah. That's a big All deal. All kinds of things happening. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And not just for the kids or the tweens or the teens, there are adult programs. You know, we are finding, and I think most libraries in the state are really understanding that part of our future as public libraries is provide programming for people mm. that they can't find anyplace else. Yeah. We have at, at Provo recently, we've had crochet classes, we've had uh, investment classes. Retirees, how much are you do on paying taxes? Here are some tips for you. All kinds of things we bring in experts that really know what they're talking about. It's not just librarians talking, right, right. but if you have an investment class, we're gonna bring in an investment counselor to talk to you. How cool, it becomes it's really a community neat. hub for conversation exactly. and for learning. No, I think most of the public libraries in the state too have, have kind of transitioned to the philosophy of being like the living room of their community. Oh, I love that. A gathering spot. And with, with the digital world, one of the downsides of that is people are just not getting out. Yeah. They're not communicating. Yeah. They're not meeting together. 
And so the local public library can provide those venues and the programs to bring people together. The library is the living room of our community. Yeah, I, I really that. like that too. I love that so much. You should TM that. Uh, sure? I see a okay. slogan. Yeah, yeah. I would, I, would, I would note that. Um, and finally, if we go back to the basics of books, it's not just the books that are in your library. There's a chance to access books from other library systems too. Absolutely. You know, libraries work off of a finite budget. They don't have all sure. the money that they would like. Sure. And so sometimes a library may not have a book or a, a series of books that the person wants. Well, we have an interlibrary loan. It's been around for hundreds of years that we can then find a library through our databases uh -huh. who has a book. They will ship it to us. There's no charge usually for the individual to borrow. All right. Finally, I'm going to ask a question that I know the answer to, and I have a feeling it might push a passion button of yours. Do we underutilize our librarians, Gene? Probably, in my estimation, the most underutilized are the great librarians that we have throughout yes. the state. And they are trained, they're experienced, they are trained, believe it or not, they're trained in library work. And they know about all of the stuff I'm talking about. And sometimes people, oh, they look busy. No, interrupt them. Go to them because they are just waiting for your questions. All right. I love that you've kind of unearthed these fantastic resources, systems, programs, and people, too, that we can tap into for additional learning and growth. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. My pleasure.